Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We are talking about simplifying logic circuits. Uh, last time we tried this with, with Boolean algebra. Yeah, our core element, our source was the table of truth. Okay, And I tried to show you how to simplify things with uh, Boolean algebra. And yes, it was simpler. And there was quite a lot of uh, formula involved, yeah, a lot of, of, of things. And actually, we are not even sure if we're getting... It, it, is not that, it is not that pictures, okay? Today, I want to show you a graphic solution, the Cano map. Yeah? In German, Cano fat diagram, or only Cano diagram, Cano uh, map in English. It was developed by primary developed as of the, the first development was by Edward Veit. Uh and then it was it was detailed and 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 modified by Maurice Cano. Yeah, two mathematicians, logic, logician, logician. Is it a logician? <laughs> if you do with logic, yeah, info my logic guys. All right, and today I want to show you how this is working. Actually, such Cano map is nothing more, nothing less than an other form of writing uh, the table of truth. I have here prepared three table of truths, <laughs> uh, and uh, I want to show you how the corresponding Cano map looks like. Here, let's begin with two inputs. Uh, the corresponding Cano map would look like that. That to make A field with four a map with four fields. Alright? And you simply say, okay, one one row is x1, the next row is x1 squared. The, it is not really mattering what in which direction or in which order doesn't really matter. And the next, x2, x2 squared in the columns. All right. And then I can map every. So if here is uh, y0, yeah, not x1, not x2, not x1, not x2, here would be y0. Okay. If you select the, the fields another way, then oh, it, it, it will simply be in another field. It doesn't really matter. Uh, here we have y1, yes, x1, yes, so this means 2, not x2, so here we would have y1, right? Uh, so for each row in the table of truth, there's a field in the Cano map, uh, y2, let's see, not x1, and x2. If you fill out the Cano map and the, the place is already taken, eh? then you have an, a problem, eh? because then it looks like eh, you have done something wrong. Y3, yes, yes, Y3. Uh -huh. This is the Cano map for two inputs. Okay. How would the Cano map look for three inputs? Well, we have eight lines, so we need a Cano map with eight fields. And since I have here only the place to do it like that, eh? I will make two columns and four rows. Well, here we have now the case that we have to divide it like that. So I'm again be beginning here with x1, not x1. Uh, these are these four and these four. Uh, and here we have x2 and not x2. Yeah. And how does it work with, with here? I cannot divide it also in the middle because then x1 and not x1 would be the same. So I'm using here x3 and the outer part is, is not x3. Almost wrote x4. Yeah. This is how a Cano map looks with three inputs. Okay, we have eight fields. Now let's 
try to find our y's. Here is y0, yeah? not x1. So these are these four. Yeah? Not x2, only these two are possible. And not x3. So here, here we have y0. Alright? Then we have y1. Let's see. x1, this one, these four. Uh, not x2, only these two. Not x3, here. Here we have y1. Alright? Then we have y2. Not x1, so it must be here in this area. Yeah? Then x2, so it must be in this area, but not x3, so here's y2. And this is always the same. It's always the same. Yeah? y3, x1, x2, not x3, y3. Hmm? So since every possible combination is is somehow here, yeah, y4, not x1, not x2, and x3, five, x1, not x2, and x3, you see it's filling up, it's simply filling up, Not x1, uh, x1, no, not x1, x2 and x3, good, and then we have, last but not least, x1, let's see if it fits, x2, x3, yes, y7, yeah, this is a Kano map with three inputs, all right? And now let's have a look how a Kano map with four inputs. Now we need 16 fields. Well, it's just, you know, it, you always, you always flip it one more field. Let's draw this 16 fields we have. I'm gonna use the other black. This black pen is working significantly better than this one. Gone. All right. X1. Not X1. X2. Not X2. X3. Not X3. Like I said, it does not really matter the order. X4. Not X4. However, I advise you to do it always in the same manner, uh, to do it always in the same, in the same fashion, because then you're getting used to it. And well, there's nothing better than having something used to, being used to something. Yeah. So, not x1, these eight, not x2, not x3, and not x4, y0. Right. Then I one. Let's see x one, x one, not x two, not x three, x four, not x four. Here y two, not x one, x two, not x three, not x four. Y3, X1, X2, not X3, not X4, Y4, not 
Not X1. Uh, not X2. X3. Not X4. Y5. X1. Not X2. X3. Not X4. Y6. Not X1. X2. Uh, X3. Not X4. All right, and now X uh, here, Y7, X1, X2, not X3, and not X4, Y7, okay. And the next one now with X4, Y8, not X1, not X2, not x3 and x4 y8 y9 x1 not x2 not x3 X1, not X2, uh, X1, not X1, <laughs> X2, uh, not X3, and X4, good, Y11, X1, X2, not X3, and X4, Only some uh, Y12 Not X1 Not X2 X3 and X4 Y13 X1 Not X2 X3 and X4 14 Not X1 X2 X3 X4 And last but not least, 15. Yes, 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 yes. Everything fits. This is how a Cano map looks like. All right. Already took us quite a time. And how does it help now to simplify things? I will show with the help of an, an example. All right. So this is that. Yeah. And here I'm doing the same example like, like we've done here with Boolean algebra. Yeah? The same, the same table of truth I've written here. Yeah. And this time I do it with the Cano map. Here I've prepared the Cano map and I simply do not want to transfer all. Yeah? I will do it like that. Then I say, okay. This one, I only write in the ones, okay? This one, not x1, not x2, not x3, not x4 is here. Here is the one. Here is the one. This is this one. All right? Then I will only, I will only use uh, the next one. So this one, the, the zeros, I don't care. I am not writing down the zeros. x1 x2, not x3, not x4, is here. Here's this one. 
Okay. Next one. This one. This one one. <laughs> not x1, not x2, x3, and not x4. It's here. The next. This here. Not x1. Uh, not x2. Not x3. Yeah, have here. This one. x1. Not x2. Not x3. x4. Here. This one. x1. x2. Not x3 and x4. It's here. Then we have this one. Not x1. Not x2. X3 and X4, see? And we have this one. X1. Not X2. X3 and X4 is here. This is now, I transferred now all the ones to this map. And now it comes. Now I can start to simplify. I can find groups, yeah, find groups uh, with Two raised by the power of n. So a group of two, a group of four, a group of eight, a group of sixteen. Always yeah. find groups of two, four, six, eight, sixteen. Yeah. These amount of two. The groups, yeah, they must not diagonal, yeah, they must be blocks. Yeah, these are blocks. Rectangles. So let's see if we find a group. There is one group I already see. This is this one. Group. Huh? And now I have to find out what what are the, the, the things this group of one has in common? Well, is it x1? Yes, everything of this group is not x1. So I can already write it, already write it down. It's not x1. Yeah. Is it x2? Yes, every one of this group is not x2 and not x2. Yeah. Is it x3? No, x3 is changing within the group. Is it x4? No, x4 is changing within the group. So I'm done. This describes exactly this group. Another group of four. Here. The bigger the groups are, the more simplification is. Eh? And then I can write OR. And I can use Double. I can use double. It doesn't really matter. All right. So I, I'm using here double things. Yeah. Even if this one are covered by this group and the other group, main thing they are they are ones. Okay. So let's see what this group shares. X1 is different. Yeah. These ones have one part has X1 and the other part has not X1. Okay. Different. X2. Yes. Everything of this group has not x2. x3, different. Some have not x3, some have x3. x4, ah, x4 is the same. And x4. Okay, this is this group. Now I see here a group. It's only a group of two. Because a group of four I cannot find anymore. Yeah. So here is or. Then we have, does it share x1? Yes, x1 is shared. x1 and x2 is also shared. x2, x3 also and not x3. Huh? And what is here? x4 is not. Huh? And now I've covered all ones. All. 
There is also the possibility that I find groups, that I find groups, I can go from here to here. Yeah, it's like you can imagine like it's it's a it's a sphere. Yeah, so if you would one 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 one, this would also be a group of four. I can go from here and I will go up here. All right. So this does not really matter. So this and this is also neighbor. Yeah, and also this and this. Yeah. Good. And this is already our why. This is why. And now it looks really more friendlier than last time because now I can even look if I can additionally simplify things. Yeah. And here I could, for instance, say, okay, it's not x2 and not x1 or x4. Uh, then I've simplified this or and here that stays as it is. Simpler and much. I mean, look at what we have got last time. Okay. <laughs> and now, hey, this looks simpler. Huh? And if you draw now, you can even draw the logic circuit. We have x1, x2, x3, x4. So let's start. Start here. Yeah, this one. This is an OR. So let's write here an OR. The first input is NOT. Yeah, and we are coming from x1. And we are coming or x4 huh? and then next thing is this here so this is an end uh, x1 input is is not this comes from x2 and not x2 and then we have the output of this and this one well, let's make it here this is an end is x1 and x2 And then we're having this one. It's always an end. One input is not, and there is x3. And then I have to do the full thing and this is a final OR and we are done. That's it. This table of truth, one, two, three, four, five elements. Okay. This is how Canomap is working. I said, these are the combinations. Yeah. It was a long video. And well, but this is a great tool. You see, there are possibilities to expand this to, to expand this to, to, to more than four inputs, but they're more complicated. Then you cannot see those nice blocks anymore, then the blocks are somehow deferred. Yeah, yeah, it's with four inputs, it's working perfect. All right. 
Canomap. Yeah. And we have already talked about uh, NAND and NOR technology. I want to give you next time an example in NAND and NOR technology, exactly what we have drawn now. Exactly this logic we have drawn now, we will draw in NAND and NOR technology, because then we only need one block, and then we can count how many blocks do we really need more. Yeah, We will see, it's not that severe. Why? I'm going to explain in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.